On today's show, we are going to look at growth dividend hybrid stocks and see how they can make you a lot of money. My name is Candace and we will begin right now. Growth investing is the cornerstone of the young investor, while dividend investing tends to be the bread and butter of older investors. These are two different investment styles with different considerations when it comes to playing the market. The fresh in their 20s investor will be heavily geared towards growth as they make the most out of growing their limited funds into a more meaningful portfolio. They have time to recover from mistakes and to wait out bear markets and or pivot if need be. The older investor typically has more money to work with and they are not playing the riskier growth game as much. They do not have the same time to wait out bad markets and their focus is primarily on creating a comfortable amount of passive income to take into retirement. A strong dividend focused portfolio can lead to very comfortable golden years. Even though these two styles are different, there can be some overlap and there are some stocks that are not only great growth stocks, but they also have nice looking dividends. These are what I refer to as those hybrid stocks. I'm going to share with you a few of these hybrid stocks to give you a place to start your research in case you are interested in investing in the best of both worlds. The specifications I'm looking at for a hybrid stock is that they need to have a dividend yield of greater than 4% and they need their growth for the previous year to be more than 10%. Keeping that in mind, let's look at a few of these hybrids. Up first, we have TC Energy Corporation, who has a ticker of TRP. They are an energy infrastructure company with pipeline and power assets throughout North America. We will begin with their dividend yield, and it is 5.388% in the form of a quarterly dividend of 90 cents per share. Their growth for last year was 19%. That makes their total ROI, return on investment, 24.4%. That is not too shabby. With the energy sector forecasted to do well in 2022, this will be a company that could do even better over the next year. I am very bullish on the energy sector, so let's take a look at another energy company. Our next company is Enbridge, with a ticker of ENB. Enbridge has one of the most extensive pipeline networks in North America, and they are very well diversified within the energy and sector, including, of course, renewables. So, they have a dividend yield of 6.546% in the form of a quarterly dividend of 86 cents per share. Their growth for last year was 29%, and that places their total ROI at 35.5%. That is really not bad at all. For our next company, we're going to move into the financial sector, and we will start with Timber Creek Financial. Their ticker is TF and they are a real estate lender specializing in commercial and residential real estate. Their dividend yield is a nice looking 7.099% in the form of a monthly dividend of 5.8 cents per share. Their growth for last year was 13%, which gives them an ROI of 20% for the last year. They really are a nice easy investment to add to either a growth or dividend focused portfolio. Staying in the financial sector, our next company is a bank. <laughs> you knew there had to be a bank, right? So we have the Bank of Nova Scotia with a ticker of BNS. They are one of Canada's big six, and as you all may remember, the big six all raised their dividends at the end of 2021, and many have announced buybacks that will pump their growth in 2022. So, Bank of Nova Scotia has a dividend yield of 4.35% in the form of a $1 per share quarterly dividend. Their growth for the last year was a very respectable 34.6%, making their ROI for the last year 39%. This is absolutely fantastic and in a blue chip company as well. Let's shift over to the industrial sector, and that's going to take us to Exchange Income Corporation with a ticker of EIF. They are a diversified acquisition corporation focused on the aerospace and aviation industry. They have a dividend yield of 5.128% in the form of a monthly dividend of 19 cents per share. Their growth for the last year was 28% for an ROI of 33%. 
Once again, another great investment with the outlook for a promising 2022. Still in the industrial sector, we have Virtuous Glass Inc. with a ticker of VCI. They specialize in recycling glass and selling their end product to fiberglass manufacturers. Their dividend yield is 6.038% in the form of a quarterly dividend of $0.08 cents per share. Their growth for last year was 28% for a total ROI of 34%. Pretty good overall numbers. One thing I really like about this company is that they have been consistent with their growth over the last 10 years, moving from penny stock status to a more respectable investment choice. Let's shift gears and look at some ETFs that satisfies our hybrid criteria. We will start with the Evolve Innovation Index Fund with a ticker of EDGE. I guess they're on the edge. Uh, they aim to replicate the performance of the Selective Global Innovation Index. Their dividend yield is 11.763% in the form of a quarterly dividend of $5.03, well, actually $5.03.7 to be exact, per share. Their growth for last year was 29% for a total ROI of 40.7%. Holy banana bread, that's not too shabby at all. One more ETF is the CI Energy Giants Covered Call ETF, which has a ticker of NXF.B. This ETF invests in the largest non-Canadian energy companies and it utilizes covered calls to make higher distributions. They have a dividend yield of 7.04%, which is paid out quarterly in the form of 13.1 cents per share. Their growth for the last year was 48.9% for a total ROI of 55.9%. Yep, that's definitely not bad at all. We can easily see by these examples that there really is some great hybrid stocks out there to satisfy all of your dividend and growth needs at the same time. Of course, remember that I am not a financial advisor and am merely the beginning of your research while a financial advisor is the end. If you guys loved this video, be excited. There is more to come. Until then, why not watch one of these videos? And before you jump into that content, just be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you in the next video.